version is the texture feature. You can now import textures and it will fill the shape that's on the mat you know with a certain pattern and it will be stored on your MTC file which is which is great. You know you can use this feature as as an idea if you want if you like that pattern of paper that you plan on using that you ordered or you know for the for the print and cut option that you can do using the printer and then going ahead and bringing it into a cutter device. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, real quick on how to do this. Um, basically you're going to find your pattern and you can either you know do a Google search you know for a pattern that you'd like or um, I sort of like this website here called Color Lovers C O L O U R then lovers.com and you can do a search uh, search whatever kind of pattern you'd like and one, once you get the once you see the photo that you like you can click over here where it says preview you know or if you're on Google just go ahead and click on that image and I'm just gonna right click I'm gonna hit copy and that's gonna copy it to the clipboard and I can go ahead and go back into make the cut I can go ahead and right click I can go ahead and go to um, you know, I can go ahead and right click, go ahead and change color and texture. I can go ahead and select texture right here. And now I can paste that pattern uh, into the box. And as you can see, it fills it up right here. And you can use these features right here. I'm not going to go into those because we have so much to talk about. And just hit OK. And as you can see, that pattern is now uh, now inside the whole shape. So that, that is a, a quick overview on the on the textured feature in this version. Right, so another new update in this version of Make the Cut software is the selection property. You can now uh, click in the box right here, make sure that lock box is locked, and you can reduce or increase by percentages by, just by typing in the percent. So say I want this to be 50% smaller, so I type in 50%, and it is now reduced by 50%. Another neat thing that is in here is uh, if you're in the metric system and you you need this thing to be, say for example, 10 centimeters high, you just type in 10 cm for centimeters and hit the enter button and it will bring it up to 10 centimeters. Automatic conversions, you know. So you got millimeters, centimeters, and you can also put in uh, fractions as well. So this is uh, this is the selection property, brand new uh, integration using the increase and reduce by fractions or percentages. So for some view options here we have uh, for the Cricut Cake users you have the show circles and you can just toggle that on and off and that will put the circles on your mat uh, to replicate the the Cricut Cake mat. Um, also here we have uh, the print options. We're gonna go to file up here and go to print options and here you'll notice some some printer options that you can use. Um, you can show the printer paper on your mat so you know what's going to actually be printed uh, using your printer. Um, you can print showing registration marks and then you can click uh, you know the do not offset printer margins. Now if you hold your mouse cursor over over each item they give you little tool tips, little helpful, tent, helpful tips on what each feature does. Um, you know you, you can go ahead and click OK on that and as you can see it shows the piece of paper uh, you know if I were to print this right now what would be cut off what wouldn't be cut off uh, using this and you know once you print something out it's gonna look something like this on a piece of paper of course and uh, it would be sent to your sent to your printer right right up here at the top you got cut project with it's got full support now with the boss cut gazelle and also the uh, the black cat cougar so those are uh, those are those are two new additions that uh, that are added to the Make the Cut software. All right, so that's going to do it for this part two video. In the part three, we're going to be talking about the lattice effect, the rhinestone, you know, all the cool new features that are in the Shape Magic toolbar. So stay tuned and watch part three of this video series.